Killer tambourine on my demo. Uh, it was too loud, let's face it. The tambourine was too loud on the demo. It was one of those demos where they started looking at me funny, like, well, I don't know about that guy. <laughs> but Sammy really liked the idea of the song, and he was saying, I want the vocals to be like a horn section. Not like one guy just screaming right from the beginning about something. I want it to be like an ensemble part. ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 and I was thinking, oh, that's, that's going to be really cool. And we actually recorded really cool versions of it in a number of keys in different ways. But uh, for, for the record, Andy was looking for something. I'm not quite sure I really understood what he, what he was looking for. But I, I think he was thinking the tempo and the key had to somehow meet. It was like he was hearing low frequencies doing this, and he didn't like the way they were doing it with the tempo that we liked playing it at. And so he, he had us moving around and eventually we were like, can we try it even lower? And so we were in tune to E flat and we were playing it like we were in B, so it's concert B flat. It was really getting to be a stretch to play that for me and Mike at that point, uh, just finger stretch wise. And we did, I don't think we did more than one take with, with that particular key set. Maybe we did two, I think just to see if it was gonna work. We really weren't quite sure, but again, one of those things where you you start playing a song and the song does something to us, and it was just we all get just riled up with that song. We go in and we listen back to the track and we go, wow, any one of those would be great, you know? And again, you, you have to let yourself go and let, let all the crazy things that you never thought you'd do, you know? And you just let them, let it just sort of lay on the table there. And when you listen to the whole thing and then you hear that it's, it's a band performance, it's no longer just about the vocal or the bass or the guitar or the drums or something. It's really about the synergy. And that's, that song, I think that recording, it has just this incredible synergy on it that I love. I'm sorry. This is so mesmerizing. I didn't know if it was over. Synergy. Not too many people use that word. That's a good word. Turn Left is the first song we ever... We jammed once together. Chicken Foot jammed at a, at a, in Las Vegas on a Sammy Hagar show at an encore. Super Bowl, 2008. And I won a little money on that one. But um, we played a show, and we played three songs. But that was the first time we, the four of us played, and the first time I had played with Joe. It felt really good, and we had a great time. And just like That was the beginning of Chicken Foot for the four of us. And Joe went and wrote some ideas and sent them to us. And a few weeks later, we got together downstairs from where I am right now and plugged in, sat down to drums, grabbed the mic. First song we play is this song called Turning Left. We're playing it and it's like really fun and we're smiling and he's, you know, Mike's do 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 again doing his thing. I'm getting to do, I'm getting mine. Everybody's getting theirs. Sammy's, wow. And I'm like, this is great. It's really fun. Continuation of the Vegas thing. We go into the control room, and lots of times when you record, recording environment is very different than you know, a live gig, and you know it's more controlled and for sonic reasons. We're playing, but I'm thinking, man, it sounds good. No headphones, no nothing. Just the four of us playing on the floor. Walk into the control room. Sammy had just gotten his control room like going. It was, wasn't you know all dialed in and EQ'd and everything. You know, speakers, board, maybe a chair. <laughs> like, a, like you know. It wasn't, you know, it was just up and running. And the sound that comes out of the speakers, and I was like, whoa, like better than what I thought on the floor. Like I felt it felt good on the floor. Sometimes you go in the control room and you're like, eh, that's not what I thought it sounded like. Yeah, man, mm, mm, oh well, you know. And this was like better, had this powerful, it was really the first time I went, wow, man, this, this, this really sounds like a band. This, this, sounds, this sounds really good. I was like really like pleasantly surprised to say the least. You know, what you hear on our record, on, on, on the record is one, Joe's performance, he did it one time. I mean, he's, 
He's playing a lot of different things on it. It's not just rhythm stuff. There's lots of leads, lots of noises, feedback, everything. One take all the way through. No fixing, no, oh, I'll take that from that one part. I mean, it's all just, we played it live and that's it. And, uh, you know, people just don't do that anymore. It's like, it's, it's great. I don't know why. Maybe they can't or they don't want to. Or they try to be pretty perfect, but we're happy to have all the warts and all the, you know, we don't, we don't mind a, a, no mind if it's a little uh, rough around the edges. For me, turning left is driving, 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 driving. That's the only thing that I can say to describe this. This and that. This is the song where Joe really gets his in, in the solo. I mean, he amazing. It's a, a song. You got the pump and bass, ba 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 ba. The driving drums, and for me, this is the song that many of you guys will get the speeding ticket with. This was a song, I remember hearing this song, Joe demoed up this song and sent it to us. And from the first time I heard it, I thought, wow, we were so jacked to play this song. When we actually recorded it, we came in, rehearsed it a little bit, boom, hit record, first take. I mean, that's, that's, that's how, how energized this song is. And I mean, this song is the one that really pumps me up when we play it live. This is gonna be probably one of our best songs to play live. It'll probably be one of the more fun songs for me to play live. <laughs> it's not about NASCAR, but it is. <laughs> it's a car song, but it's really about people going in circles. You know, how many times in your life have you, you know, sl you know find yourself in that same situation and you go, ah, oh, I blew it again. How did I do this twice, you know? Because <laughs> you keep turning left. If you keep turning left, you got every now and then you got to go right. You got to go, you think you're going straight, but a lot of times you're veering and you're long, veering long enough, you'll come back around to the same place. So. You gotta intentionally make a hard right every now and then, you know? Or don't keep turning right either. You know? <laughs> hard left if you're making too many rights. So it's just like a metaphor in, in a car metaphor, which how many times have I done that in my life? Lots. How many times am I gonna keep doing it? Lots. Relax. It's gonna happen again. Joe had that riff and he played me that riff and I said, yeah, yeah, I like that riff. <laughs> it's like I could sing to that. That's, that's heavy. And Mike and I are doing that, that chicken foot vocal thing again too and then I keep forgetting the verses are, you know, da -da, da -da. It's, it's great. Um, I really like that song. It's so good live that we were trying to play the album live, the whole thing, all the way through, song by song, in order, but nothing can follow the turn. When we finish turning left, Joe starts taking his guitar off. I start, you know, moving my microphone over, walking over, getting a glass of water, walking out of the room, Chad gets up, sets his drums up. We're going, wait, oh no, there's another song in the album. So, <laughs> so we had to make that the encore. Uh, the next song, Future in the Past, has to be the encore because turn and left, nothing can follow that. It's like the most intense, everyone plays everything on a hundred, way, way intense. From Chad, Joe, Sammy, and Mike! Oh, I get it.